Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse who I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. Hey everybody, welcome back to a quick beer review. Uh, another throwback beer. I'm super stoked to check this out again. Uh, courtesy of my man Jonathan. I appreciate you, sir. Uh, from Three Floyds, Munster, Indiana. I do believe I didn't look at the can. Uh, this is Zombie Dust. This beer was a whaley, whaley beer way back when, when I actually started doing YouTube stuff 10 years ago. Um, I used to try and trade for this beer. I used to hope and pray somebody was going to Indiana so I could try and get this beer. Um, one of the first beer reviews on my channel, uh, back when I was using an awful webcam and the audio was bad and it just, my YouTube channel was a mess. I mean, it still is a mess, but it was really, really bad back then. But <laughs> um, love this can art. Same uh, logo that I remember was on the 12 ounce bottles, but um, this is what they call an undead pale ale. I think it's five, let's see here. Six and a half percent. Uh, this is all Citra, I think. Um, I've had a blast recently, uh, like going back and checking out beers that I used to really, really love. We drank Pseudo Sue recently. Um, I revisited Pliny the Elder, uh, Hetty Topper, and then um, I got a message saying, hey, I got some fresh Three Floyds. Do you want to drink Zombie Dust again? I was like, yes, I do. So, you know, we're hashtag Team Low ABV. I remember just loving this beer. It's been so long, though. So, uh, this was canned on February 15th. So, we are uh, three weeks time of recording. Hell yes. Stoked. Dude, I forgot that I had Three Floyd glassware. This came from an arcade buddy like 10 years ago, I think. So, I mean, we're using it because you guys know beer tastes better when it's in proper glassware. Um, I very much enjoyed Pseudo Sue. That beer that I got, it was about five, did I say, I think it was five months old, um, which isn't crazy old, but this is really, really fresh. This is three weeks. This might be fresher than the first time I ever had it, to be honest with you. I don't remember. So, let go. I'm so fired up. Um, this beer has a chill haze on it, but it is clear. I can see my finger through it. It is a cool, like, sunshiny yellow color it probably looks way darker on camera finger of fluffy fluffy bright white head dude i haven't seen this glass in forever i love this glass sick let's go ahead and show our fat nose in this one it smells oh man it smells fucking awesome there's so much bright citrus it's like orangey tangerine -y. there might even be like a it's like, it's tropical. What is that? It almost has like a mosaic thing, but I'm almost positive this is all Citra. It is so aromatic, but it's got a cool, like bready, malty sweetness. There's a little like tiny bit, uh, maybe it's just the hops. It's, uh, it, I don't want to say it's dank, but it has that cool, like herbaceous thing. But yeah, it's like a cool, like candied uh, orange. I gotta go. I don't really want to go back and watch my old video just because it's so bad. It'll be fun to go back and see what I thought, like what I was smelling back then. Just because, I mean, it's been ten years since I've been doing this. Um, over ten years and thousands of beers. Like I'm sure my nose and tastes are different now. But yeah, this is super citrusy, like candied citrus, a little bit of tropical, with an awesome, just like malty sweetness. It smells awesome. So let's go and taste it, Jonathan. Cheers. Thanks, bro. That's delicious. Gosh, it's good. Um, but it's six and a half percent. It's light. That's what I like about it. It is super light, crushable. I mean, I could chug that. Um, that candied sweetness that you're smelling, and definitely there. There's a nice like bitterness though on the middle of my tongue. It's not intensely bitter, but it, there's definitely like a hot bitterness. Um, pithy too, like pithy orange, pithy tangerine, maybe like pink grapefruit. But yeah, it's all the citruses from the front of your tongue all the way to the finish. You get that pithy bitterness and then there's just a nice bready malty sweetness on the finish of that. It just rounds it out so well. This beer is still fire. This is another one. I wonder what new school people think about this beer. I don't know how people who are hazy people wouldn't like this beer. Maybe they would say it's malty. I don't know. Um, I think that that sweetness on the finish works well with the amount. It's funny because I was like, oh, it's bitter, but it doesn't like stay bitter. It's actually like a good pithy, zesty citrus bitterness is on my tongue this entire time I've been talking. But so much bright tangerine. And there is. There's like a tropical thing that I don't know what it is. Maybe like 
Like a pineapple-y thing? It could be stone fruity. I just, I am fucking, like, I am digging all these beers that I used to drink 10 years ago these days. I mean, I am getting back into enjoying more hazy beers. Um, but I just think, like, I, I don't know. If this was something that was available to me all the time, this would be in my fridge all the time. I love the um, ABV point at sub 7%. This is something that if you wanted to, you could have a beer with dinner every night. It's not going to kill you. It's so flavorful for a pale ale. I mean, this, to me, drinks like an IPA just with that crazy like bitterness and all the citrus that you get. Um, this, I think this drinks like an IPA, you know, six and a half percent IPAs are what they start at 7%. I think, I don't know the rules to beer, but, um, this is something that 10 years later, still, this beer is awesome. I am so glad I got to drink this again. And again, if this was something that was local to me and it was fresh, it would be in my fridge all the time. So fun to revisit these classic, the OGs. I just, I remember <laughs> trying to trade for this. It was nuts. And it was so hard to get this. You'd get like one bottle. And then they started canning and you saw people getting six packs of cans. You're like, dude, maybe I'll be able to get, you know, a couple cans. And it was still, I got one can, I got two cans. I need Pliny. It's just like, shit, I was trading Pliny for this. Crazy. Gosh, those were the good old days. So uh, this beer is still awesome. I still love it. I hope you guys do too. That's Zombie Dust from Three Floyds. Jonathan, I appreciate you uh, sharing this one. I'm stoked. I have some other Three Floyds beers to drink. I'll probably drink all of them tonight. If you see me in the same shirt and hat, no, you didn't. Um, but yeah. I'm, uh, I'm stoked to check those other beers out. So you guys still drinking zombie dust these days? I hope so. If not, check this one out. It's one of the OGs. Um, it should be part of your craft beer experience. So that's it. I'm out of here. Appreciate you guys watching. See you soon. Cheers. Thank you for coming behind the bar in the arcade. All that shit. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't.